I think this question is going to bother some people, but let's take a look, right? We have some words that are hopefully familiar, words like but, but also, you know, indeed is kind of a weird word. Likewise is a very odd word. If you've ever heard me talk about that in a video, then I apologize if I caused you to get this wrong. We'll get to that in a second, but let's just go right into the sentence. In the early 1970s, Albert Papa took up graffiti art, spraying his work onto what was at the time an unconventional surface, concrete. Albert's son David has chosen an unusual canvas for his new art project, Fractured. Wait, what? How did we go from this guy to his son? That seems odd. Uh, in this remarkable work, the artist draws charcoal faces onto fragmented ice flows in Finland, creating the visual effect of a face slowly fracturing. Okay, well, is this a butt situation? I mean, we are talking about two different things, but are they contrasting in some way, right? Are we trying to say that the father's art is different from the son's? I don't think so, right? He's the, the father is using unconventional surfaces, um, and so is the son, right? Like, uh, where are we saying it here, right? He's drawing on ice or whatever he's doing on the ice, right? That That's also unusual. So this doesn't seem like a however situation. Now, indeed is a word that we use for emphasis. So a lot of times when indeed is correct, it's usually uh, correct because nothing else works. Um, but in this case, I also am pretty sure it's going to be wrong because the second sentence is different from the first. We aren't emphasizing something else about the father, right? We've moved on. We've moved on to a new person. It, 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 there's something similar here. Obviously, it's not completely disconnected, but it's not a contrast, but it's also not kind of emphasizing something we said about the father, right? It's it's we've got to kind of make the connection ourselves and indeed is a word where the emphasis or the, the connection that we're trying to highlight is more obvious. And so we just don't have that here. So I would be sure that that's wrong, but in other cases, the only reason I, I might either pick indeed or kind of be left with it is because I've found the other answer. So it's, it's about, it's more of a process of elimination choice in normal circumstances. Now, second, uh, we would need a first, right? Uh, these aren't events. These aren't things that are happening in a certain order. I get why some people are going to be picking that because you're like, oh, well, first, the father was drawing graffiti. Second, the son is drawing on ice, right? That That is logical, but it's not set up that way. It, it, it's not set up that we're trying to s describe it as a sequence. But then that leaves us with likewise, which uh, I have said in other videos for this version of the SAT, the last version of the SAT is almost always wrong. And the reason I say that is it's, it's usually a choice, but it is not usually correct. It's just one that sounds kind of smart. So people pick it when they have no idea what's going on in the sentence because they're like, oh, likewise, that's like what smart people say. And so they, they think then they must be right. But likewise is basically just uh, another word for similarly. So it's not that it's always wrong, it's just that very rarely are we actually in a situation we are trying, where we are trying to say that two things are similar. We are very often in situations where we say that they contrast, right? So that's why however is a much more common answer. But very rarely we're trying to say that two things are similar. But here that's exactly what's happening, right? The father is drawing on unconventional surfaces. The similarly, the son is also drawing on unconventional surfaces. I think it's a hard question. I think it's hard because we have to pick a weird answer. I think it's hard because the connection between the two sentences is not obvious. Um, but remember, we we ultimately, we would like to have kind of like a gut reaction to like, oh, this is the kind of word I would have said here. This is my transition. And that's why things like but, so, and, those are such useful placeholders. But if we can't do that, always remember, we only have four options. Test them out. See how they sound. See how they fit. See if you can find that transition that you weren't able to pick up on when you first read the sentence. See if just seeing these answer choices kind of makes you see a, a connection that you didn't see originally, right? That, that's kind of the point. Um, but I will say, just kind of to end, that yes, likewise is occasionally right. Uh, it is a synonym for similarly, but it is not commonly right. So if you do see it in most questions and you're totally confused about what's going on, I would say avoid it. Uh, I still think that that's a generally safe way to go about these, but, um, you know, always go by the circumstances.